Hi, Ed. This is John Alexander Mormon. My phone number is 719. I'm actually um, Gene Simmons' cousin. He, he was the chief scientist at NASA during uh, the last uh, moon landing. So anyways, I'm calling because I did a hunger strike seven years ago protesting federal agents giving free drugs to middle schoolers in Colorado Springs. And um, Robert Mueller got fired and um, a lot happened. Now, uh, seven years later, um, I've been contacting the media again. This time I'm not doing a hunger strike. And now I'm facing whistleblower retaliation. The reason it's called whistleblower retaliation is my last job was working for the CTO of the NSA. The reason I know they have a CTO there is because I met him. Um, but I also know there's a chief information security guy at the Secret Service um, because I met his best friend. And um, basically what happened was while I was working for the CTO of the NSA, uh, I was in San Antonio next to a CIA base called Camp Stanley at a bar. and. I met this guy who kept ranting about Austin. He was an explosives expert. He was stalking me, and it had to do with the drug lab, why he was stalking me. And I could tell he was stalking me because he was following me. And basically, um, he was ranting about Austin so much that I contacted the FBI about it. And um, the next day, there was a picture release that met the description exactly of the Austin bomber. And so, I was like, whoa, they got him. And then they, then Mark Anthony Condit blew himself up. So what I'm saying is there's no confession. And um, the reason I know that is because the Huffington Post came out with an article after the bombing saying, um, Mark Anthony Condit's homeschool group wasn't a survivalist group. Someone's lying to the media. Mark Anthony Condit didn't know how to make bombs. The, the undercover agents are lying to the media to make everyone think he knows how to make bombs. And the reason they did that is because I was contacting people through Facebook about it. Um, and so there is no Austin Bomber confession. The real bomber was, I'm pretty sure, an undercover CIA agent. They're running, the CIA is running illegal intelligence operations on American soil all over the place. It's completely against their charter to have covert operations without presidential authority and they're doing it. Um, yeah, that's it. Please call me back. Thank you.